by the president of Kenya. And um, the difference maybe you could ask is between our first term and our second term. In our first term, granted, I played my role as deputy president. The president assigned me many responsibilities, which I discharged with distinction from where I sit. And that is why in our first term, we rolled out our plan to build the standard gauge railway. We have built 700 kilometers. I was part and parcel of the entire, entire delivery plan. We set out to build 10,000 kilometers of tarmac road in Kenya. By June this year, in three months or so, we will have actually done 11,000 kilometers. I sat long hours with officials in government to design how that was going to happen. Same case to our TVET program, same case to all the other programs that we delivered on our first term. And to demonstrate our success, we were re-elected in our second term with twice the margin we had been elected in 2013 clearly demonstrating that the people of Kenya were happy with our delivery. Unfortunately, in our second term, because of the political dynamics that came into play, uh, the president told me that he wanted to do things differently. And he didn't want what had become normal in Kenya that this was Uhuru. -to. He wanted a Uhuru. Uh, and I had a discussion, a candid discussion with him. And uh, when he told me that's what he wanted, and he wanted to run this government because he wanted his legacy alone as the fourth president of the Republic of Kenya, I was not fussy about it because we decided that whatever I did in the second, in the first term to coordinate the government uh, programs, um, work on uh, assignments that would consolidate uh, our plan. He decided that he wanted somebody else to do it. And I didn't complain. So uh, such, um, executive uh, uh, order number one came into force, establishing uh, a different arrangement in government. Um, and, and, and I had no, I had no quarrel with it because that's how the president wanted to deliver on uh, his second term. Unfortunately, uh, the people who the president maybe gave that responsibility failed him because the whole big four plan fell apart. The housing plan never took off. The universal health coverage never took off. The whole space on agricultural transformation faltered. And we didn't see any of that plan. In fact, at some point, it forced the president to change the plan. So we went away from the original plan of uh, Big Four. We ended up with another plan called BBI, changing the constitution working on all the, the rest of it, which unfortunately again, went up in smoke because it was purely unconstitutional. So um, uh, how do I do things differently? If we had done things the way we had done in our first term, making sure there are clear lines between the opposition and government, so that government can be held to account, so that the opposition can play its role, so that instead of the opposition being lackeys and being brokers and being the ones organizing cartels in government and participating in corruption, they should be providing oversight. You're correct. You know, Kenya has, is in a worse place today there is no oversight. The 
fellows who are supposed to provide oversight in the opposition are the ones driving the scandals from KEMSA to all this. They are the ones participating in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the troubles.